Okay. Now we have some other good news. The Vessel of Hatred is coming, guys. It is coming. It is on its way. Diablo 4. Who's excited for Diablo 4's uh, uh, thingy? Their, their, uh, their, their new expansion. Uh, Vessel of Hatred. Well, it is coming. It, whether you're ready or not, it is coming in seven days. This is coming with a new season. It is coming with all kinds of updates. So let us discuss. Is this old or is this new information? Let's see. Let me open this up and see how this video is. Oh, no, this is new. This is the launch gameplay trailer um, of the DLC on my Xbox. Jesus. Wait, you you ordered the $90 edition? Why? Well, regardless, the one of the good things about uh, this DLC, by the way, guys, is that uh, you do not have to get a larger edition to get an earlier access. They finally did not have that in this. You want all the goodies? That's fair. That's fair. Uh, but yeah, this is this is not one of those situations, which is nice. Uh, and um, I, I do appreciate that. They did do that with the actual launch of the game, where if you bought like the big uh, gig edition or whatever like that, uh, basically you got like three days in early and uh, it really, really pissed a lot of people off. And so Blizzard did listen, at least with this, and they did not do that with DLC. However, they did do that with World of Warcraft, so I don't know why they keep doing that. Uh, but yeah, let's see what is going on. Uh, it opens on October 7th, so that is in six days, 4 p.m. PDT, that is, I think, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, new era of Diablo 4 is nearly upon you, Wanderer. Directly following the events of the main campaign, new chapter launches you back in the fire. We'll watch the trailer as well. Let's see how it goes. We got the pre-purchase rewards. We got some adorable dogs. Look at the cute little dogs. I'll move my head. There it is. We got a little dog. We got another little dog. And we got another little dog. Uh, we got some cool looking, you know, mount armor. I think there's like some jaguar mount armor. Uh, we got some premium currency and shit. We got a new little portal or whatever. We got some wings and stuff. Uh, cosmetics. Thankfully, only cosmetics. So that's good. Uh, and also, a month of Game Pass Ultimate. Um, I wonder hmm, how that works. Uh, but yeah, it, it is It is good to see that, um, uh, you know, they're, they're really ramping up. There's a lot of big bonuses coming. Uh, and I want to see if they have any information here. So yeah, preload. Yeah. The campaign, uh, there's going to be a brand new campaign, and uh, it's going to be a lot of continuation for the story of Nerel and all that. That'll be interesting. Uh, they also are doing a big stat squish. So instead of going to level 100, we're now only going up to level 60. So that'll squish all the stats a little bit. They'll squish the, uh, the, the, uh, the leveling points and all that. Uh, they're going to be doing an item quality rework. Paragon system is changing. It's going to be a little less overcomplicated, though it's still going to be complicated. Now we can only choose a grand total of five boards. Uh, there, there's there's a few different things going on with that. Uh, we got a, a couple of new character slots, uh, character skills and passes for each class. I've covered that in another video. So if you want that video, keep in mind it will be linked in the comments below. I have covered a lot of the new information for the new Spirit Breaker, Spirit Walker, Spirit Breaker uh, class, which is uh, going to be a pretty Spirit Born. I was wrong all three ways. Hell yeah. Spirit Born class. Uh, there's a new Party Finder, new Season of Content, of course, new Battle Pass and all that jazz. But the, uh, the, the, the cool thing is we get Rune Wards, and these Rune Wards will actually change all of our abilities in very, very detailed ways, much more than was in, uh, I think, Diablo 2 or 3, or both. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be more than both. So it's going to be like Rune Wards where, like, <clears throat> every time you, uh, you know, bleed a character, you create an explosion. It's going to be like things like that, like things that actually change how you play the game uh, a little bit. Not like something that'll completely, completely change the game, but like, Definitely bigger differences than original Rune Wards. So that's also going to be really, really cool. A brand new city. Uh, mercenaries for every class. There's going to be a little overview. Four different mercenaries. 
Uh, and each one encompasses a different character archetype. Like, there's, like, an assassin type. Uh, there's going to be one that is, like, a... Um, essentially almost like a demon warlock. Uh, and it, it makes no sense why he's allowed in cities. Which is pretty funny. But he looks really strong. There's going to be a barbarian lady. A big, burly, buff barbarian lady. Uh, who's probably going to be my favorite. Uh, and also... Uh, uh, some kind of magic class. I can't remember what the magic one is, but that, that's like the fourth one. I think it's just like a typical sorcerer type. Uh, and uh, they're going to have their own set of skills, own sets of passives. And one of the cool things is that one of their skills, you'll be able to link up to one of your skills. They have not really gone into detail about how this exactly works, at least that I've seen. Uh, but the really cool thing here is that when you link the ability, say you're playing a barbarian who uses upheaval, and you link yourself with one of the abilities of the sorcerer. You can basically make it so the sorcerer does that ability that you linked every time you upheaval. Um, and that's that's an example. There's there's all kinds of nuances and things that you can do. So uh, I, I'm very, very excited for the mercenaries. And there also is going to be a brand new area um, where... I, th I think that might be the Undercity. Where it is the dungeon. It's going to be a multiplayer dungeon. And uh, the multiplayer dungeon is going to be super, super cool. It's going to ha it's going to require multiple people because uh, people will be doing um, uh, what's it called? Uh, they're going to be like pressure plates that'll require multiple people. The game will be balanced in that dungeon for having more than one person with you. So it's going to like really require it, and that's why they're adding the party finder system as well. So uh, all kinds of really, really cool things. Uh, I and hey, Twitch drops as well. All right, Twitch drops are coming back. Uh, we will be absolutely playing during Twitch drops. So if you guys enjoy that, hop in uh, to Cap Corgi TTV whenever October 8th hits you guys because I will be live with that game. We'll be playing with the entire community, we'll be having a lot of fun and uh, can't wait to see you there. But in the meantime, let's go to the trailer and then we'll go into the video of the details as well. So let us do that. Plenty of information. And Artosh, welcome, buddy. How are you doing tonight? I saw my core. Okay, let's see it. And from my mouth grow hatred. All right. I'm hype. Okay. I'm looking for my friend. Also, Stay Spearborn well. looks busted, for anyone who doesn't know. She's somewhere out there. Nahantu. Fled holy judgment. Holy judgment. Yes. Where is the girl? The apex predator. Wait, is this music gonna get me DMCA'd? I'll put it down just in case. I don't know. It might be. It might get me DMCA'd. Um. Yeah. This spiritborn class looks absolutely insane. Oh, oh, okay. New animations, of course. Yeah, here are the mercenaries. You need to stop. Okay, so this is the little demon lady. Uh, sorry, demon lady. Demon child, where it makes no sense because they're, like, obviously a demon. So how how is this mercenary allowed in cities? We don't know. But it looks really strong. Like, he's, like, tossing out, like, meteors and stuff. Like, it looks insane. Um, Yep, yeah, that's the barbarian lady right here. And she has a shield as well. Conquer the Dark Citadel. Yeah, okay, this is the co-op activity that I was talking about. Yeah. I have to keep muting it because I don't want to get this uh, video demonetized. We're about to hit monetization on YouTube, which is pretty hype. Um, oh my god. That's cool. Come, child of my child. Child of my child. Oh, here we go. I will give you the violence you long for. Ooh, yeah! Finally, we're fighting some proper demons as well. Heck yeah. At least Blizzard knows how to make tieflings look good, true and real. And James, welcome. Yep. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Um, I think it'll be really, really interesting. And I do know that this is a big time for Diablo. Uh, thankfully, they've not delayed the game, which means that Path of Exile is only going to be coming a month later, Path of Exile 2.
because that will probably, you know, destroy a lot of the momentum that uh, Diablo 4 has or would if they were launching at the same exact time. Thankfully, they're not because otherwise, uh, frankly, Diablo would be screwed because uh, uh, let's just say Path of Exile 2 looks insane. Uh, but yeah, I want to give my information. Uh, so if you like this video, let me know what you're looking forward to in Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred. Let me know in the comments below. I'll respond to every single comment. Love to do that. We'd love to create all kinds of awesome content, and I will be covering this game going forward. So make sure you give this video a sub and a like if you like more of it. I will make more of it. And in the next video, which I will be putting up very, very soon as well, we'll be covering the inside the game, the game features. So we'll be reacting to that in a separate video. I'll link it at the end. There you go. See you in the next video, guys.